Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today I'm reporting on the National Firefighter Memorial Day tomorrow, May 7th, 2023. It will be for the entire weekend. The flag will be flown at half mass in honor of the 79 firefighters who gave their lives in service to you and me and all the rest of the United States and lost their lives in the year of 2023. And it's also going to um, remember the 65 other firefighters who have died in service to the United States citizens. And so tomorrow it would be a great day to hug a firefighter Swing by your local firefighter station with a batch of cookies or, you know, um, send them a, a drop by and give them a gift card for, you know, pizza to uh, your favorite pizza place so that they can, um, you know, have something that they can, you know, look at and think the community really does respect us and really does care, you know, for us. And understand that we're laying down our lives every time that bell goes off. And so I'd like to remind everyone as well that when you're doing things like with your barbecue grill this summer, please make sure you have a water hose close by and that your grill is far enough away from your house or anything flammable that will not start a fire. And that would be a good idea. And also, in the winter, electric heaters. Please, ladies and gentlemen, more people die from electric heater fires than you could even imagine. And firefighters show up to rush into those buildings to save whoever they can, risking their life because of our stupidity. So let's please try to be more fire conscious. And also, the firefighters who... Um, get out there and fight the forest fires. So remember, Smokey the Bear, just one match can burn down an entire forest. So please be careful out there with your with your um, with your um, fire and your matches and anything else. Charcoal. Don't just dump it out on the ground. Forest uh, campfires. Please make sure that you put enough dirt and water on that that it is completely out and not one single spark could blow off into the grass or dry grass or a pile of leaves after you've left your campsite. So you, you can come back again and again and enjoy the beauty that you've um, camped in. So um, the reason that this used to be in October, but they're moving it to May because um, of unpredictable weather and because of government malfunction, possibility of government malfunction. You know, that's when they're supposed to get the uh, budget out for the following year. So, you know how they are so irresponsible and lackluster in their uh, working together to benefit the American people. But, oh, they don't miss their check and, you know, they don't miss their meals and they don't miss paying their mortgage or their bills. So, um, you know, I think would be a good idea to hook up um, the um, Congress and the presidential's, president's pay checks um, that they should be held up in the event that there are any um, problems coming to an agreement uh, concerning our budget for the following year. Why should our military be the only ones who suffer, you know, <laughs> Congress. It's their lack of planning, it's their lack of working together that causes the shutdown. So I think they should suffer as well, don't you? And if you think so, put your comments down in the uh, box down below. But um, think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Be fire conscious and hug a firefighter. And as always, I love you.